I was knocking around in my back room and I just thought it was smart because I'd started writing this song when I was 21. It was a year later and I was having to finish it because now I wanted to do some solo Billy Bragg gigs. So I wrote, I wrote uh, uh, New England during the, um, the riffraff, the end of the riffraff days. But the next day I wrote another song called The Kitten which was very similar to New England but worked better with the band. So kind of New England kind of got sort of shedded, wood shedded. Uh, but when I was looking for songs to play solo it kind of came back to me again. And it's basic idea, uh, again, it goes back to that fundamental original offer of who Billy Bragg was. The idea in the song, the message of the song, is that, yeah, I have been involved in the great struggle, but, you know, every now and then I need a cuddle. That's all, I mean, that's all it is, that's all I'm saying. And that, that allowed me to find a space between the hardcore politics and the, the messing about pop songs, you know, somewhere in between keep on keeping on and calm a chameleon, I was able to... <laughs> While we stood outside of Rock City yesterday after the soundtrack, a bus went by with Boy George coming to town in Panto, I think he's in Aladdin. <laughs> and I looked at it, I thought, you know, if only you'd have just give it some thought and play these cards right, Morrissey could be cleaning up, couldn't he? <laughs> wouldn't he be a great widow twanky, wouldn't he, Morrissey? <laughs> Or old Mother Hubbard. Or Mother Goose. Imagine him, Mother Goose. <laughs> I'd like to see it, I'll tell you what. I'd like to see it. Oh dear, oh dear, oh dear. Do you know that, have you any more of that mulled wine, Grant? It was really nice, especially when it was so hard. Anyway, yeah, without any further ado. Actually, I've got some more ado, actually. I've not. Good. 